Miami Beach is under a state of emergency as spring break crowds spiral out of control. These are the scenes we're talking about. And while it's a very different scene here in the Bay Area, that doesn't mean everything's going smoothly. Eight on your side's Nico Clemens is at Clearwater Beach where some still aren't following the rules. Not as hectic here in the Tampa Bay Area, but we've already seen a couple of incidents just right here at Clearwater Beach and you've probably seen them too. There's been a, an uptick in attendance, for sure. Over the weekend, two men arrested for battery charges. Clearwater police say a lifeguard was checking on two underage girls who appeared drunk when both men confronted the lifeguard and shoved them. Oh, and of course, that local video that went viral. It shows an 18-year-old escaping from the back of a patrol car and crowds cheering him on as he makes a run for it on Clearwater Beach. That teen is facing several charges. Another teen who opened the door to the car, allowing him to escape, was also arrested. That's all happening right here. But down in Miami Beach, city leaders declared a state of emergency in an effort to control the crowds. There's now an 8 p.m. curfew in place through April 12th. This is not an easy decision to make. Um, and um, we are doing that to protect the public health and safety. Back here in Clearwater, there are already concerns about the large crowds. The virus down here doesn't exist. Kimmy Tortuga performs at a Clearwater hotel. She said, sure, the crowds are good for local business owners, but she hasn't seen many people following the COVID-19 restrictions. Since day one, no one's been following the rules, so you just got to protect yourself. And back out here at Clearwater Beach, you have these markings on the ground reminding people to practice six feet social distancing. And as you're driving into the city of Clearwater, there are electronic billboards reminding people of the same thing. In Clearwater, I'm Nico Clemens, 8 on your side.